Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, family. How y'all doing? Again, guys, we're giving 120% effort every day of our life as a lifestyle. What does that mean? No, we're not striving for perfection because that's that's too uh, overbearing. That's too demanding to strive for perfection. So what we're going to do, we're going to get it done by any means necessary. You know, we're going to we're going to progress. We're going to go through the process. We're going to look to make progressions every day of our life. And why do I say every day? Because you cannot be successful based upon yesterday's success, meaning you have to put in the work today. You have to grind today. You have to think positive. You have to think right today. Now, guys, again, I'm not here to motivate you all. I'm not here to inspire y'all. I'm here to push you to decisions. And what kind of decision is that? The decision to pursue relationships. Why is that so important to me? And it should be important to you because God sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die for us so that he can be back in a pure, sincere, innocent relationship with us. Jesus came to reconcile us back into relationship with our creator. So if it was that important for him that he going to sacrifice his only son, why can't that be important for us? Why we don't push ourselves to be in, in, in pure, meaningful relationships with other people? And that's why this weekend's challenge that I just gave you all was so important. Forgiveness, to reestablish relationships. And even if you're not looking to, to join back into relationship with that individual, at least the, the, the division was canceled out because of forgiveness. That if that person needed that help, you wouldn't feel in so angry or hatred towards that individual that if they ask you for help, that you wouldn't want to do it because you were still holding on, excuse me, to that grudge. So I, again, I tell you all, relationship is the number one pursuit that you should have in your life. And I was reading something that comes from Matthew 24 when it talks about the last days that when, whenever, you know, like they say, it hits the fan. You know what I mean? It means that people are going to, it's going to be chaotic. People are going to be um, selling each other out, as they say, so that they don't have to suffer. They don't have to kill. So let me tell you something. You cannot say one time that you have accepted Jesus as your personal savior and just live the life as, you know, as, you know, that whenever he comes back, I'm going to heaven. You know, everybody has to, you know, to find him on its own feel like it's okay that you start living for God and start loving God and start worshiping God, but do not have relationships with others and think that you're actually going to heaven. You know, the Bible talks about faith without works is dead. That means that you can have faith, you can have trust, you can have love for God. But if you don't have relationships, you're not working on those relationships with other people. If you're not working towards helping other people, and as Jesus said to the sheep that enter into the kingdom, because when I was hungry, you fed me. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was in prison, you visited me. When I was sick and shut in, you came and visited me in the hospital. If you're not working towards the relationship, then you have to question where you are in reference to your salvation. Because the Bible says in 1 John, it says that you cannot say you love God, but hate your brother. And if you're not there for him, if you're more selfish and kind of looking at your neighbor or looking at the next person, it's like, I got mine. You have to go out and get yours the way that you need to get it. Then you have to question your salvation, because the Bible says in Matthew 24, 13, that those that endure till the end shall be saved. You know, when Jesus came in, in the children of Israel, the Jews seen Jesus and found out that he was the Messiah. What they were looking for was Jesus to take him away at that time from all the, the sufferings and the pain that they were enduring on this earth. But they didn't recognize that he did not come to take them away at that time, but he came to give them freedom by bringing them into relationships with each other to be able to feel the peace, to feel the joy. You know how that's true? Because in Acts chapter 2, 41 through 47, it talks about how the community came together and they were enjoying life, the life. They were loving life because they were in relationship with each other. So the, re the relationship that God sent his son Jesus Christ to down across for our sins for to be back in relationship with him. We can experience that relationship, the beauty of that, that relationship right here on earth with each other. So that's why we're pushing. That's why the forgiveness was so important. That that's that's the 120 percent guys we should give every day. The the relationships that, that we pursued on yesterday does nothing for us today. Yeah that was great yesterday but we're still on this earth. That means that we still have purpose within the relationships with other people. So if you think about somebody else today that you need to, for, you know, ask for forgiveness for or just forgive them, go ahead. Make it happen. Today is a new day. 
You can do it today. Guys, I love you all. I want to see the best for you all. And let me share this last thing. If you have trust issues, if you feel like you can't trust people because people have done you wrong, we're in a book of Psalms that talks, talks about where our trust, who, who we rely on. And it talks about we cannot rely on humans. The version I was reading on yesterday in church, it said you cannot rely, you cannot put your trust in human beings. Why? Because we are sinners. We, we are, well, saints that was once sinners, but we still have the, the possibility and the ability to make mistakes, to let people down. So even though sometimes we don't intentionally set out to hurt that person because whatever happens in life, but that person was so dependent and trusting on us, now we have let them down and now they have trust issues with other individuals. So if you have trust issues, stop putting your trust in human beings. Put your trust solely in God because he's the only reliable source that you have. So this is what I'm saying. Don't not trust people, but don't make people your foundation in reference to where your trust lies, if that makes sense. Because when you fully trust God, but you build meaningful relationships with people, that even if a person messes up because you're fully trusting in God, but your works is to build relationships with other people. God will give you the peace based upon whatever somebody else do. If they make mistakes, if they mess up, guess what? God got your back. He has your back. He loves you. That's why he sent his son, Jesus Christ. Again, let me close this. I was saying what I just talked about sounds nothing like religion. It's all about love and it's all about relationships, guys. I am... Uh, passionately pursuing getting people to understand the difference between religion and relationship. It's like paper, rock, scissors. That just came to mind because I started doing that. This is rela relationship. This is religion. Right? It always wins. Or this is this is religion and this is relationship. It cuts it up. Now, that might kind of sound weird to corner you guys, but relationship always supersedes, always beat out religion. And Jesus did it every time. Well, I love you guys. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Y'all have a beautiful day because it's beautiful out here. If y'all in another city or state, I don't know what your, country, what, what, what your weather is looking like, but I know out here in the Houston area, it is beautiful. I love you guys. Guys, this is going to be my last week sending out videos through text messages you must subscribe to the youtube channel if you want to continue to receive these and if you want to continue to receive these it would send you a notice every time i download a video to youtube again this is the last week i will be sending out by text message so right below this video you're going to see the subscribe button hit it so you can continue to get these videos on a daily basis and until god takes away that purpose in me from doing these videos they will continue coming so they're going to be coming for a while all right guys i love you all i'm praying that y'all have a blessed and beautiful day on today that you continue to pursue meet those meaningful relationships and that you real you realize that your life is about developing relationships growing a close closer relationship with god but continue to build those relationships with your brothers and sisters in christ i love you guys y'all have a blessed day bye for now I'll talk to y'all on tomorrow